In this video, you're going to see a demonstration of magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid in solution. The first thing I did was I varied my magnesium samples by about 0.1 grams. So my first sample that will be placed into the yellow balloon weighs the least or has the lowest mass and the largest mass will be placed into the purple balloon and then those samples will be dropped into the hydrochloric acid solution and allowed to react. I would recommend recording these masses for any future calculations. The magnesium samples were coiled and then placed inside the balloons so they could be easily dropped into the hydrochloric acid solution that will be inside the Erlenmeyer flasks. 25.0 milliliters of a 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution was pre-measured out and then placed in each of the Erlenmeyer flasks, one for each of the different samples of magnesium, which again are inside the yellow, green, blue, and purple balloons. Universal indicator was added to help us determine which reactant is limiting in excess and how much of that excess reactant might be left over. The magnesium is dropped into the hydrochloric acid from inside the balloons in order to start this reaction. The atmospheric pressure of the day was recorded as well as the room temperature and the temperature of each solution that was created from this reaction. This will help you determine if these were endothermic or exothermic reactions as well as which one had the most amount of energy either released or absorbed. The last piece of data that was taken in this demonstration 
was the approximate pH of the leftover solution inside the Erlenmeyer flask. This can not only help you determine which reactant was excess or limiting between the magnesium and hydrochloric acid, but it also gives you proof of the quantity of excess reactant in each of these flasks compared to each other because of their pHs when the reaction is complete. Take note of the amount of gas collected in each one of the balloons. You can use stoichiometry and the initial masses to prove why the purple balloon collected more gas than the yellow. Baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, was added to each one of the Erlenmeyer flasks to react away the acid to safely dispose of it. This is a completely separate reaction that you could write the reactants and products for, and you can also see that there is a different amount of baking soda needed to neutralize the acid in each one of those flasks. I checked the approximate pH inside the Erlenmeyer flask to make sure that these were okay to dispose of down the drain. Good luck chemists, I hope you enjoyed this experiment and demonstration.